welcome from Luna Park here at Coney Island. What an iconic place this is. I know, yeah. It's crazy, we're, we're, we're actually here. Um, classic old-fashioned New York seaside uh, yeah, boardwalk park, park, isn't it? And there's kind of so much inspiration around the world that's drawn from this place. I mean, even when you went to California Adventure and you walk around there, a lot of it's kind of um, based on here, isn't it? Yeah. This is really cool. So, uh, yeah, well, the, the main thing is here is Cyclone, you can see it uh, one of the most famous roller coasters in the world, really, isn't it? Certainly one of those famous woodies that are knocking about. Yeah, so we've got to have a, uh, a few hours here before we head off home and uh, uh, see what they've got here at this classic seaside amusement park. So first up, they've gone Victorian Gardens Grand Prix Races. Here they go. Let's make them out there. They go. <laughs> Eden loves it on these. A little mini whip. A lot of fun. There she goes. very much like a fairground feel about this. Proper old fashioned boardwalk vibes. The thing here as well, it's quite strange because you only get a four hour window for your ticket as well. So uh, you have to use, get on as many rides as you can within the four hours and then your time's up and then you've got to leave and you, your wristband will no longer scan to get you on the ride. So Casper and Eden are now playing fireman. They're going to be putting out fire. This uh, standard fairground attraction that you see in most places here. Yeah, though, yeah that's very true. Oh, any of the parks that have these. Yeah. They're not queuing for hours, don't yeah. often. It's very true, yeah. No, no. No. I think they want it to burn. Don't like it. <laughs> here they go. Oh, they're going on the chair swings! Here they go! Woohoo! Loving life on the chair swings. There they go. They like it here anyway. Famous Woody in the world. Can't wait to ride this. Complete bucket list coaster. So uh, it's 95 years of this ride. Not quite as old as the Big Dipper, though. No. So um, yeah, absolutely incredible coaster. So uh, let's go check it out. A cyclone. ride that is rides so well 95 years age of age still got really old rustic um, trains on them as well and kind of leatherette seats on them you slide around all over the place great first drop fantastic layout as well just a really really good all-round ride so pleased to be able to get on there these kids are going on the mini uh, uh, 
my train now, power coaster. And uh, yeah, and then after that, I was going to check out. So remember, we only got four hours, so it's going to get on as much as we can here, pack as much in, and then uh, see what we get up to. And then we're going to have a Nathan's as well, because uh, it's the original one that's right here in Coney Island. California Adventure and they've seen uh, Mickey's Fun Wheel or uh, the Pixar Pal Around. This is what it's based on. This is the original one. This is Dino's Wonder Wheel. So basically, you can see the uh, gondolas that are, that are swinging there. They're on a little bit of a route to trap. And what happens is, oh, he comes back. Ah, hey. And as they, uh, as it goes around, it's kind of like on a they, they swing around there. And it, they are absolutely terrifying when you're on it. One of the most uh, scary rides you'll ever experience in your life. It sounds daft because it's just a Ferris wheel. But there are static ones. You can see, you can see the ones on the, around the outside there. They're all the normal Ferris wheels. And then the gondolas there in the middle, they swing around that loop. Uh, and you get a good swing on as well once you start going around. It's still very busy, so there's not many people going on, so I can't really show you. But if I see it going around, I'll show you how much they swing when they come around. Yeah, it's a cool ride though. It's something you have to experience because there's not many of them knocking about. Here they come. Some parallel attractions here. Uh, they've got, they've got uh, the nebulas over there. They seem to follow us around everywhere. They've got Zamperla Disco, and uh, they've got a few all sorts of little bits and pieces. Plus all these uh, Zamperla flat rides as well, some teacups as well. So there's quite a few rides here, really. I mean, you do only have four hours. So that's the important thing to remember. So you can't, they can't put too much in. You can see those gondolas really swinging now. See that red one there that's went and, and uh, when you're on that, it is absolutely terrifying because you, it just doesn't seem like a natural thing for it to be doing. It's crazy. Here they come. Had a good time? I do one more time. Yeah. Oh, look at them swing. It's crazy. Watch this red one at the bottom now. That one's about to go. There it goes. That feels terrifying when you're on it, it really does. So it's made up of a number of different uh, uh, parks here. So there's Luna Park, which we've just come from, which is there. You've got Dino's Wonder Wheel Park, which is there. And uh, there's another one which is just down here as well, which is uh, some rides you have to be mindful of, uh, the bungee's going off, uh, is that not all rides are included, some of them have an upcharge, like Cyclone did have an upcharge. A little bit of a kid's drop tower there. So there is the original Nathan's, we're going to be going in there later on, so uh, we'll check that out. We're going to have a look at the rides that are in this little bit of a, a boardwalk park now. Just 
come off. Steeplechase, you can just see behind us there. Casper, what did you think about Steeplechase? I used to ride back in the light, the light chair, so I Oh, yeah, so for anybody that isn't, uh, that's unfamiliar, it's very, very similar to Pony Express. It's at Knott's Berry Farm or Velocity, which is at uh, Flamingo Land. You sat in that motorbike position on the horse and then it launches you down this track here all the way around and through the course of the, um, uh, the coast itself. And it wasn't too rough, it felt all right. That's what ride it's. What, how's the launch, Casper? It's really good. The launch is really good. Oh, better than Hypersafe Mountain Launch. That's a big call, I guess. And did you enjoy the ride? Was it rough? No, there we go. So, there we go. The main man said it himself. We're going to check out. There's, there's loads of rides that you can and can't go on here. So we're just going to work our way around and see, what, uh, see what's available for us. There goes the Valari. Very unusual lift hill. Very uncomfortable ride as well. Not, not very nice. Casper really wants to go on this, don't you? Yeah. It is just like here, but fortunately it's a 52 inch high restriction, which means you can't go on it at the moment, dude. So there is the legendary Thunderbolt. I've just come off that. Uh, I have to say, it's quite an uh, interesting ride. Very, very unique in the sense that... Uh, I'll just open this up. Um, it, yeah, it's quite intimidating because it has a lap uh, restraint. It's quite similar to Skyrush in the sense that it just goes across your lap. And when you go down that first drop, it, you're right, right into it. And uh, you, they stay, proper staple you in here as well, which is quite... Uh, when they first do it, you're thinking, God, I feel stapled in. And then once you go over that drop, you realise why. So it's quite intimidating. As it goes out, it's not the most interesting of layout, uh, but some good airtime in that. And, uh, and some quite uh, intimidating inversions as well. And you really do feel quite vulnerable with that lip lap restraint as well. Um, but yeah, it's just an all right coach. It's one that uh, it's, it's good to do once, but and I wouldn't be particularly fussed about doing it again. But it's certainly unique. Uh, did you fancy doing that one, Robin? <laughs> no, Robin's not a fan of that. She, Robin didn't really like Skyrush either, so uh, she's not going to get her on that one. But uh, yeah, there we go. So that is Thunderbolt here at uh, Luna Park, Coney Island. It really is odd that we're 30 minutes away from uh, New York City centre, well, uh, Manhattan, and uh, we've got golden sandy beaches, uh, we've got fairground rides, we've got a beautiful beach. And if, I don't know if you can just make out over there, but you can actually see the Statue of Liberty is just over, I don't know if you can make it out, there it's over there somewhere. Um, we can see the Statue of Liberty, which is which is crazy because we're here on the beach on a beautiful sunny day. It's, it's like a holiday resort, really. Um, just 30 minutes away. Took us 50 today because of the traffic, but uh, no diving. Sex before marriage says on that sign. It's interesting. There we go. Um, yes, yeah, it seems lovely. I mean, because this is this is so world famous. It's crazy that uh, that we're here. It's a world famous Coney Island. It really is beautiful. I quite like it though, it's got a lot of charm, isn't it? It's got a kind of um it looks like a more of a less built I'm just more given of a, a tour of all the requiem for for a dream like landmarks <laughs> because I know that they stood at the end of this pier on it and then those buildings over there they stood at and looked at Ah it. Yeah 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 so basically, yeah. I'm, just, I'm just in my element because that's like one of my favourite films. So anybody that hasn't seen uh, *Requiem for a Dream*, it's a it's a movie with Jared Leto where he plays a meth, is he a meth addict. Uh, uh, no, some like form of drug. Like He's a heroin addict, and basically every single day he'd go into a, um, a set of porn, his mother's television, uh, in a 
uh, local shop and then she'd have to go back and buy it back, didn't yeah, she, every day? she was addicted to like diet pills and yeah. girlfriend was addicted to heroin. And basically, it's just a story about how not to do drugs <laughs> yeah, it's a very, because it's awful. Yeah, yeah. It's, but, a very, it's a very grim film. But it's film. cool being here because this is... Well, it's based. Uh, and to be fair, because we, we absolutely love films, when we went to uh, California, we did the tour of uh, all the places where all our favourite films were, were made as well. So it's quite cool, isn't it? I mean, it's such a famous landmark here. Well, so many famous landmarks. Just looking across there, it looks amazing. It looks so cool. Just walking down this pier, what, uh, it's like a proper old fashioned American boardwalk, a proper one. We've never done one of these I'm before. I just want to point out, I don't normally wear this kind of sunglasses. Oh, yeah, by the way, yeah, Robin's <laughs> left her glasses in the car, so I'll she's wearing mine. I so. see, so I've, I've pinched these on, but I know I look super cool. Which is why I'm not um, uh, putting myself on the camera now, because I'll be squinting like anybody's business and you see all my wrinkles. So, <laughs> yeah, you can see all the people are doing the fishing here. It looks, it looks lovely. I wonder what they catch here. Well, they catch all sorts, don't they? Fish. Well, yeah. They, yeah. <laughs> I imagine they will. Yeah. Unlike in Blackpool, where they catch a few used condoms or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Pigeons, you get them anywhere. Oh, it's just approaching the end of the pier now. A lovely breeze here. It's really, really warm. How much was it, was it meant to be about 24 degrees today, wasn't it? No, it, well, it did say that yesterday and then it changed like 28 this morning. We've been so lucky with the weather though, haven't we? Yeah. Because it's both say lucky. You, you've been rain dancing every know, single day. But. Just <laughs> But it has, been, it has been really hot. The first couple of days we had those showers and they've just cleared out and we've, we've never had anything since. And it's been it's been threatened every day, but we've never had anything. Which is, uh, which is nice, really, because when you're on holiday, you kind of want a bit of weather. You've got people playing the vibes down here as well. All the pigeons, you've got seagulls. They have pigeons here, which is unusual, isn't it? Oh, yeah. So that's the end of our time here at Luna Park. And with that, the end of our entire trip. So it's been a long one, hasn't it? It's been a tough one. And uh, I just want to say a massive thank you to Robin for planning absolutely everything. And it's done an amazing job, as always, because we wouldn't be able to do any of this stuff if it was for Robin's solo planning. And she's amazing. Thanks for driving. <laughs> yeah. um, she does drive, but just not over it. Um, so, um, yeah, so it's, it's been absolutely incredible. I mean, Luna Park, it's not a place I'm going to be uh, in a rush to come back to. Um, but it's, it's a historic place and I'm, I'm, I'm so happy to have come and visit it because yeah. you see so much about it, don't you? Especially Cyclone, it's been on so many programmes. And uh, Casper, what's been your favourite thing today? Um, the, the whole holiday. Yeah, not from the today. And today, I would say um, Steeplechase. Steeplechase, yeah, the little uh, horsey launch coaster. Really good fun, it was good fun. Uh, Eden, what was your favourite thing? Build a log flume. Log flume? We didn't do a log flume today. Was it the roller coaster? Yeah. Yeah. Eden loves a good roller coaster, and she had such good fun on that today. Robin, what about you? Quick, quick, quick. Oh, oh, oh we're going across the road. We're going across the road. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Um, we're on a timer. What's my favourite? Yeah. Did I go on anything? Uh, yeah, you went on a few things, didn't you? I think so. <laughs> really. It's one of those places. It's quite. Oh, we've got, we've got a walking man. We're talking and walking, so uh, it's a hazardous occupation, so we just have to be careful with this. Um, yeah, so, uh, yeah, it's one of those strange places here. Um, you go on a couple of the kids' rides, but it's, it's, it's just a Zamperla amusement park, effectively, back there with Cyclone. Eden's telling you that she's going on an airplane. We are, because that's us, we're done now. We're going to head over to the airport now, we'll drop the car off, and that'll be the end of uh, the entire trip. So I just want to say thank you to everybody for, for watching, for... Uh, supporting us while we're out here and it's been really really good fun it's been amazing it's been really hard it's been tough it's been difficult but it's been so much fun and enjoyable yeah. and worth it hasn't it so uh Kasper, have you got anything to say before we go uh, no no okay. Eden, have you got anything to say no. no nobody's got anything to say so that's it from us so the only thing that we've got left to say is thank you very much let the positivity in and Friday. bye <laughs>